if you saw my last video, you'll realise that um, I'm a bit limited on what I can do in the garden at the moment. So I thought I'd take the time to come out and sit in the greenhouse. I've set myself up so I'm fairly comfortable. I've um, filled 10 pots and I'm going to prick out these tomatoes, which are really, really leggy. And I'm going to plant them deeply. The tomatoes grow roots from the stems. Um, so like if you take out um, the suckers on a tomato plant, an established tomato plant, and um, push them into the soil, they'll set out new roots and that will create new plant. So they're very good at adapting. So I have got in here um, some Black Beauty tomatoes, Rebel Starfighter, and brown boar. These are all seeds that were given to me by um, Ali from my rusty garden. So um, they're varieties I've never heard of before so that's quite exciting. So let me crack on and take my first pot. I've got my dibber. I'm going to start with my Rebel Starfighter because this one is actually not bad at all. It's, it's leggy but it's nice and straight. Let's see if I can tease the roots out. Now when you're handling seedlings, do not pick them up by their stems. Pick them up by their leaves. that's much better. Ah, that's better. And I can top that up. I'll top that up with a bit more soil so that it's buried even more. So that's one. Let's do another one. So I've topped these all up with more compost to bury them a bit deeper and I'm just going to do the labels. So I've moved them around a bit so I know what I've got. So that's those two. There's the Rebel Starfighter, and then I've got Brown Ball. So I just lift this nasturtium and plant one out. So these are the Copper River tomatoes and I've got four seedlings. Um, one of them's fairly leggy, the others aren't, but um, I think I'm going to sow these two then I might put that in another pot but much deeper. That one's very tiny, I don't know whether I'll keep that. But let's just lift those, as I said before, just lift them by the leaves. So my next task is to pot up the chilies. I 
have to say, I've not been out of the house really, apart from visiting the hospital for over a week. So just sitting out here is a joy. So I think that's it for today. So the tomatoes have all been potted on. They've all gone into a little bit of shock, I think, which is understandable, but they'll recover. The chilies, Lola Rossa. Look at these, these are the cauliflowers, how much they've developed in the last couple of days. They're doing really well. And I've got my potatoes that are chitting. I've got some aubergine and mixed pepper in that little tray. And then I've got my first sweet pea come up. A couple of the black hollyhocks have come up. Marigolds, Cosmos. I've actually got some peas coming up now, so I think it was just weather conditions. I've even got some in flower. I've got to decide where they're going to go because um, I need to sow a whole load more. So these can go in as the first lot, and then I'll do some successional sowing. But we've got something going on in the greenhouse, so I'm pleased with that. Oh, I've come to sit outside in the summer house. There's so little I can do at the moment. And I've got my coffee. And Paddy's found a nice little sunny spot to sit. It's about 10 degrees, so it's not warm by any stretch of the imagination, but it's a little bit warmer in, and sheltered in the summer house. And it's just nice to get outside. So I thought um, I'm just gonna go through my YouTube channel and reply to any comments that I haven't um, acknowledged yet. So I really really value all the comments that I get on my videos each time they're published. Um, I don't always get the time to um, respond straight away but I will respond and uh, like I say, I'm really, really grateful for the interaction. I feel like that you're my friends, um, long distance in most cases. Some of you are scattered all around the world, which is really, really quite exciting and quite humbling. So um, yeah, it's one of the parts of the, um, of my hobby, if you'll call it my hobby, that I really enjoy is the fact that um, being able to put out the videos brings people together. So, um, let's see what you've all written. Good morning. Oh, sun is shining. And I just could not sit indoors worrying about the jobs I needed to do out here. So um, the thing that was playing on my mind was my strawberries. I had loads of compost and manure delivered and was worried about how I was going to get it to the beds. Um, but the strawberry bed, I need to take them all out, fill up the bed and then replant them. And it seemed insurmountable, but I've come up with a solution, which has quite surprised me. So I've got two beds side by side, both the same size. One of them I've topped right up with, um, it had green manure in it, but it's had loads of new compost and um, manure over the last few months. Um, so I think what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna transfer the strawberries from one bed to the other.
when you planted strawberries, the crown needs to sit on the surface, don't bury it at all. Otherwise it will rot. So I'm just checking that it's at the right level. I think we all need to know our limits. Oh, I think I've completely and utterly overdone it. Oh, but I am so pleased with what I've achieved because I didn't think I'd get any of it done at all today. So let me just turn you around and you can see. So the strawberries have been replanted. And this bed has been completely topped up. It took two bags of compost and two bags of farmyard manure all mixed together and that's been raked over. So I'm just gonna leave that now to settle. I've got two more bags of the farmyard manure left, three bags of compost. One to top up my potato buckets, but the other four bags are for the main bed up by the house. And then all that's left to do is, I think I'm gonna dig out these old strawberries because you should change them every three years. But I'll think about that another day.